Hi guys, welcome to SciTech. As the COVID-19 pandemic spreads around the world, scientists are looking forward to identify treatment that may affect against the disease. Any drug development takes years, but when time is short in a pandemic, scientists and clinicals turn to pharmaceuticals that have been used to treat other diseases in rapid fashion. Doctors have already deployed a number of antivirals attempts to fight back against COVID-19 and the data of their studies are now coming in. Most patients currently receive supportive care such as breathing assistance. A drug, Remdesivir, was developed by Gilead Sciences, seen in one of the most promising potential treatments for coronavirus. Remdesivir is a nucleotide analog that mimics adenosine, one of the building blocks of RNA virus genome. Drugs that act as nucleotide analog interfere with the enzyme that viruses use to copy their genome. There are three ongoing COVID-19 clinical trials at locations across China and the United States for Remdesivir. A new study shows the FDA will allow doctors across the country begin using plasma donated coronavirus survivors to treat patients who are critically ill. The state's health department planned to begin treating the sickest coronavirus patients with antibody-rich plasma extracted from the blood of those who recovered. The treatment, known as convalescent plasma, dates back to centuries and was used during the flu pandemic in 1918, the era before modern vaccines and other antiviral drugs. Some experts have argued that it might be the best hope for combating the coronavirus until sophisticated therapies can be developed, which could take years or several months. If the treatment is proven effective, experts said it would likely work best given to patients before symptoms become too severe and also be effective in protecting frontline healthcare workers from becoming seriously ill. Coronavirus gets into your respiratory tract when you breathe respiratory droplets that have the virus or touch contaminated objects and smear virus on your face, eyes and nose with your fingers or some other contaminated object. Infection tends to begin inside your nose. The virus looks like one of those spiked medieval weapons. The spikes on the surface of the virus consist of a protein. These protein spikes are the key to the virus's ability to invade the cells in your respiratory tract. They help the virus find and bind to the ACE2 receptor to get into your cells. It uses an enzyme called furin that's present in your cells to break down the protein spikes in half, allowing the virus into your cells. Once inside your cells, this virus hijack your cells machinery to make more copies of itself. Viruses make more and more copies of themselves. They may invade more cells lining in your respiratory tract and begin to cause damage. A study showed upper respiratory symptoms include fever, a sore throat, nasal congestion or dry cough. The WHO reported symptoms begin an average of 5 to 6 days after the virus initially infected you. When the infection proceeds down to your respiratory tract, shortness of breath, chest pain or tightness, a deeper cough and other difficulties breathing, these symptoms can come from inflammation of your respiratory tree, otherwise known as bronchial tree, the set of pipes that carry air you breathe in and out of your lungs. At the end of the respiratory tract, there are a bunch of balloon-like structures called avioli whose function is to exchange oxygen and carbon dioxide molecules to and from the bloodstream. If the viruses make it down to your lungs and alveoli, it turns into an pneumonia. An pneumonia is when your alveoli becomes inflamed and get filled up with fluid. Another report shows the coronavirus is not mutating significantly as it circulates through the human population. According to scientists who are closely studying the novel pathogen's genetic code, the virus is less likely to become more or less dangerous as it spreads and represents encouraging news for researchers hope to create a long-lasting vaccine. Microsoft helped CDC build a coronavirus self-checker. The U.S. Centers of Disease Control has a coronavirus self-checker tool on its website that can assess people's symptoms and risk factors and help them make decisions on seeking medical care. The tool was developed by Microsoft's healthcare bot service. The company said public health organizations, hospitals and other front lines of the COVID-19 need to be able to respond to inquiries, provide the public with up-to-date outbreak information, track exposure quickly trade new cases and guide next steps. Alright, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one.